Hi, in this video, I will be giving few insights on how to get a job after BSc Physics or you can say after MSc Physics or both. So let's start. See the thing for which BSc or MSc Physics was created is teaching. Okay. BSc, MSc Physics is for people who want to do teaching or who want to do research. But if suppose in India 10 lakh students enroll in BSc Physics, so definitely do not, not 10 lakh students want to become a teacher, not those 10 lakh want to become a scientist or do some research. So most of the people enroll in some other course after doing their graduation or post graduation. So I will call that domain as other. Okay, that can be MBA, that can be anything which is not related to physics. Because whichever thing is related to physics will go in either teaching or in research. So for teaching, I will talk later on. For research, I will talk in the later part in the video. Let's talk with the other. Now one can get a job either by the degree he has done, by using the knowledge of that degree. This is the first thing. Or one can get a job by having some skill. Okay, these two are the basic criteria for getting a job. Okay, so definitely the person who does not want to proceed with physics will cannot use his first thing which is knowledge he got in BSc Physics. So definitely the only thing which we have left is skill. So start developing some skill right from first year. Start developing some skill right from the first year of your graduation you will not regret later mark my words okay mark my words start developing some skill from the first year of bsc in physics because by the time you complete your three years of bsc you will be a master of your skill now you one can ask the question sir what type of skill you are asking for example if you want a job in some it sector if you love coding for example you can start learning code there are so many languages C, C++, Java, Python. Start learning any one language right from first year. You will be a mediocre. You will learn something and you will be a master by the three years of your BSc. So when you complete your graduation, you can directly enter any company which requires a coder. Because for coding, of course, degree is necessary. But the most important thing is skill. You should know how to code. Okay, and most of the companies take interviews which have coding questions and if you have skills, you have developed that skills for three years, definitely you will crack that interview and you can directly get a job. Second thing, for example, you I am giving here a few examples. The main basic element is developing a skill right from the first year. I am just giving examples which are related to my domain. Second skill is suppose say graphic designing. Suppose you love designing, start learning graphic designing right from first year. Do certificate courses. Don't depend upon the free stuff available on YouTube. Free stuff on YouTube can develop skills, can give you skills, but cannot give you certificate. And for job, you need some certificate. So enroll in some certificated courses in your city, institutes nearby, online reputated course websites or courses. Okay. So you can learn graphic designing right from the first year. In three years, you will become good at it. And after BSc directly, you can get a job. Third domain can be video editing because nowadays video editors are respected highly because of the memes they create. Okay, so start learning video editing from the first year. You will get master in three years and definitely you can get a job. I am uh, writing graphic designing video editing because my life is centered around social media. So I see scope in this stuff. Definitely you can do anything which you want to. But basic element is start doing right from the first year or second year because in third year you will get less amount of time. Suppose this is a student who have done BSc but is not getting job and want to get job. So same question again, same answer again, develop a skill from today okay then only you can get a job so in the same way start take a skill start developing it can be affiliate marketing digital marketing website development seo this that okay so this was the basic okay take 
I have uh, mentioned the technological and social media domain here. This applies to any domain you want to work in. Talking about research, uh, see for research you will need proper amount of knowledge and proper amount of mindset because there is no bound to research. For example, if a student starts doing research, he also do not know how much time it would take to complete that research. So if you that mind, have that mindset, you can proceed with research. Uh, you have to crack some entrance exams many times. For example, recently BARC had issued a notice that 101 students are getting hired for doing research. The minimum eligibility was BSc with 55 percentage and MSc with 65 percentage and definitely you get paid for doing research. Okay, PhD for PhD you get some amount of money, not some amount you get a good amount of money. But ultimately, you have to do research, you have to do something for the country. So definitely you should have that amount of mindset. You cannot quit. You cannot say I have, do not have any patience. No, research takes some amount of time from your life. Talking about teaching. So as far as teaching is concerned, no doubt degrees matter. Okay, no doubt BSc physics matters, MSc physics matters. Also, you have to do BA for teaching if you want to teach at some government authorized institute. You can do BSc plus BA to teach at schools. You can do MSc plus BA if you want to teach class 11, 12th. You can do MSc plus net set if you want to teach in degree colleges. But nowadays they have added PhD also. So this is the this is the these are the degrees you need for teaching. But Apart from degree, what you need again is two things. You need to be a good teacher. You need to have good amount of communication skills, public speaking skills. You do not need some stage, stage fear. You cannot have stage fear and be a good teacher. And the second thing you will need is knowledge. For example, I have, for example, I have opened an institute, say RG lectures, and I have, I am hiring for some JWA educators. Two students come to me. So, uh, not students, two people come to me. So definitely they have done BSc, they have done MSc, they have done BA. But I cannot say, okay, let's let me make you a JWE educator because you have done BSc, MSc and BA. I will definitely give them a question paper of 50 questions and I will give them to solve. If, one, if you are able to solve, then you can be an educator. So basically you yourself have to get some knowledge of the domain in which you want to become a teacher. If you want to become a JWE educator, you yourself need to solve JWE questions. If you want to become a NEET educator, you need to be expert in NEET faculty. Okay. So for teaching, apart from degrees, what matters most is the knowledge. For research, you need to have some proper amount of patience and the research oriented mindset. Vacancies do come. For example, currently vacancy in IISCR Kolkata is running. And uh, for other persons who do not want to do job related to physics, you can develop some skill from first year and then you can, you would definitely get a job. Thank you.